Good morning, friends. This is Shruti from PT Tutorials Asus Group. Today, I'm here to talk about a very important topic. We all are aware that in PT exam, sometimes we get some repeated questions, some repeated sets of questions in exam, maybe in speaking uh, and listening and writing or in reading. And we uh, sometimes buy that repeated material in dollars, in Australian dollars. And still, we are not able to get good score if we get repeated material in exam. Something must be there that we are not aware about that particular thing. So today I'll explain how repeated questions will be helpful for me, for you, to increase the score in PTE A, A exam if we get repeated material. How to deal with those repeated questions. Second thing, how to deal with repeated questions when you are practicing the things at your own side before appearing in the exam actually. So these both things are really very important when I'm practicing repeated questions. So let's start. You have any queries, you may post uh, in chat box, you may raise your hands, but I'll cater all your queries in the end of the lecture. As we all are aware that in PTE, we get some repeated sets of questions. Now, how it is going to be a help for me if I go through with the repeated material? And we all have repeated material but still we are not able to get sometimes good score if the repeated material comes in exam. I'll discuss each and everything by module by module. First, I have taken the speaking module. We all are aware that in speaking, there are five types of tasks. The very first type of task is read aloud. Read aloud means I have to deal with speaking as well as reading. In repeat sentences, describe images, and in read a lecture, plus answer short questions. From here, we get score for not only speaking, we also get the score for listening. See, when listening is there, and reading score is there, definitely I have to work on something because I don't want to get only 19 speaking. I also want to get 65 each or 79 each. So how to deal with these kind of things? First of all, I have taken this read aloud passage. I have taken some uh, words from different, different read alouds, which are basically from repeated material. The things that today I have shared in this PPT all the things, all the material is taken from the repeated sources of PTE exam. In the very first line, you can see that if this particular word, these particular words are there in exam and read aloud, if I'm not aware about the meaning, about the pronunciation of the third word, definitely I'll be gone. Because in speaking, in read aloud, pronunciation is really very important because with the help of pronunciation, I'll be getting the score for reading. And from read aloud, we get a lot of score in reading. So pronunciation is important. The first word is, first line is, in the archives of general psychiatry. If I'm able to speak it, only then I'll be getting the score for pronunciation only then I'll be getting the score for content and the content score will go to your reading section. Second word, second line is exaggerated startle response. If I stuck at the second first word, definitely score will be down of pronunciation. If pronunciation score down, I will not be able to get the score for content. Remember one thing, in speaking, we all are aware 
that there are two enabling skills over which we get speaking score. First is fluency, second one is pronunciation. But remember always, when we have to deal with each and every task of speaking, one thing is really very really important, very really crucial, that is the content part. Because the content score will go to the other module. Here in read alouds, the content score will go to reading. Your fluency and pronunciation, these two things are just as a couple. Similarly, your pronunciation and content, these two enabling skills are coupled. If I'm too good in fluency, but I'm bad in pronunciation, remember one thing, you may get 90 and 80 plus in speaking, but you will never cross 60 plus in reading as well as in listening. That's why it is important when you are uh, reading, you are practicing any of the repeated material. Take a copy pen with you. You get some weird word. You get some word over which you are not able to pronounce. Never make any guesses from your side. Google is there. So many apps are there. Use those things. Because we really don't want to lose a single score from pronunciation. Third is sometimes we, we may pronounce the first letter as first word as dissociated. But this is not dissociated. This is dissociated. Even in US uh, language convention as well as in Amer um, UK. Next is we pronounce next word as amnesia. This is not amnesia. A little bit, your tongue should be should touch to your backside of your teeth. This is amnesia, gia, not sia. If I haven't heard the pronunciation of these words, definitely I'll speak wrong. When I'll speak wrong, it means I will not get the pronunciation score. Similarly, I will not get the content score. Next, in the fourth line, the word is, we pronounce this word as schizoid, but this is not schizoid. A little bit of T sound is there. This word is schizoid, just like in schizophrenia, just like in pizza. A little bit of T sound is there when you pronounce it clearly, correctly. Schizoid personality disorder. That's why it becomes important when you are dealing with repeated material. Take copy pen, make notes that today I'm going to do this particular thing and how many words, how many uh, pronunciation of the words I have learned. And when you will do the practice on the next day, make sure you are looking over the previous words so that whenever in the future, it is not only about PTE. You, of course, we all are moving to Australia, Canada, uh, if we are uh, giving this exam, we need correct pronunciation to deal with the people who are already living there. Next is, I pronounced the word schizoid. A little bit of T sound is there. Schizoid. It is not schizoid. It is not schizoid. 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 Next. I have taken one uh, read aloud passage here, which is based on the schizoid personality disorder. See, we may get sometimes these kind of passages. So how we have to deal with these kind of passages? The DSM-5, we pronounce this abbreviation as it is. The DSM-5 defines Schizoid personality disorder as a pervasive pattern. Open your mouth of social and interpersonal deficits 
marked by acute it is not acute it is acute discomfort with and reduced capacity form close this word is not close whenever it is uh, being used with the relations um capacity form close relationships as well as by cognitive or perceptual distortions and this word is eccentricities that's why i have highlighted uh, some important uh, pronunciations of the words like schizoid personality pervasive pattern cognitive or perceptual distortions and eccentricities you have to put a little a little bit you have to stretch the sound when you are saying cities of behavior beginning by our early childhood and present in a variety of contexts so if these words are not pronounced correctly definitely scores will be gone next i have taken repeat sentences in repeat sentences we 90% of people they get fumble in repeat sentences in 90% cases uh, we are not able to catch all the words of the sentences are quite longer as compared to the time when we practiced it and if these are the repeated ones we get in exam what will happen when i get some repeated repeat sentences in exam whatever the speaker says only i'll be able to catch say two three words i will be able to recall what i have learned when i was practicing so in that way it becomes easy for you to speak the words and in that case you will speak more words if you have gone through any of the pdfs uh, which are having repeated sentences and uh, it becomes easy for you to capture if you have gone through the audios of the repeated sentences i have shared some uh, repeat sentences these are from real exam collaboration between departments is a feature of successful companies if i have read it somewhere while i was practicing definitely i will be able to know what the speaker has said one more important thing in repeat sentences as there is no beep i have to speak immediately as a speaker just finishes with his or her record audio sometimes because of their accent we are not able to catch the words so in that case if i have already read that particular sentence in my practice time i will definitely be able to catch what the speaker was saying whether i was aware about the his or her accent or not that's why it becomes easy for you to score good and next important thing repeat sentences are the most are having the most highest are having the highest weight throughout your pte exam there is one reason in each sentence suppose you get uh, 10 uh, words on an average i'll be taking definitely there would be 12 to 14 repeat sentences now when you will calculate the total sum what would be the sum that's why repeat sentences are the most important and mainly mainly you people uh, don't cross 79 in listening and we feel that maybe some uh, somehow i made mistakes in uh, listening listening margin but the problem is here in repeat sentences as well as in written lectures so be careful whenever you are dealing with repeat repeated material the last sentence is quite the longer one 
the symptoms of the disorder can have an impact on multiple life domains, including family relationships, school, and work. It is totally hard for me to speak so many words in one go. But if I have practiced this sentence in my, before appearing in the exam, definitely I will be able to speak whether the sentence is having 10 words, 15 words or 17 words. So be careful. And when you are practicing repeat sentences, one advice. Try to mimic the tone. Second, just feel like the speaker is giving you some command to do. If I say, go to that room, bring my laptop and keep it here. I have listened these words as if someone is giving me command. Because when command is given to you, you definitely, your mind definitely works to capture most of the words. Because this is the command. Say my tutor has given me the command to do this. Definitely, I have to, my mind automatically will work in that direction to capture most of the words. Next task is describe image. And most of people, we are not able to deal, uh, we are not aware to deal with this kind of question type. And if this kind of picture is in front of you, what will you do? At the moment, you will fumble. What I have got in exam, I'm not able how to speak for this image. In that case, what to do? So, when you have already prepared this image, it will not be a difficult task for you to speak for 20, 25 seconds for this image. That's why I have taken the map because usually people, uh, they find difficulty in describing the maps. You don't have to do anything. Just make your story and describe the image, whatever you are able to see. That's why I repeatedly saying uh, when you are practicing at your when you are practicing at uh, before appearing in the exam practice in such a way that you are sitting in exam practice in such a way that this is your final term and I have to repeat I have to, I have, don't have to look over just the image, sentences, read aloud, diff difficult pronunciations. Don't mug up. If you want to mug up, mug up in the brain. That is really important. I have seen many people. They are, they cram the things. They depend upon the growth learning when they get repeated material. And we move here and there just to get repeated material, repeated material. If I'll be having repeated material, but still, if I will not be able to score 60 plus, then what is the worth of having so much GBs of repeated material? There must be some strategy that you have to follow. Make a pattern that in this, this type of describe image, what I have to describe. So that an exam, I won't fumble. I'll be confident. Next is read a lecture. Now, a uh, little bit of task for you people to do. See, uh, I have taken, I have uh, collaborated the two tasks, read a lecture as well as summary spoken text. Because in both these tasks, uh, we just have to listen. In read we have to 
repeat the sentences whatever the speaker said in the audio and then summarize spoken text i have to take the no, uh, keypad and i have to jot down the words on the keypad on the notepad sorry and uh, have to make the summary after that but keywords are the keywords in both the situations they are not going to be changed so if um, some scientific names are there in read a lot and some less spoken text or uh, and we haven't heard those words ever and those words are the important keywords those words are the nouns proper nouns adjectives adverbs important verbs and if i'm not going to speak those important keywords in my lectures or i'm not going to write in my summary forget that you will get the score for writing listening that's why it is important just a small task for you people how now i'm going to play an audio this is a read a lecture real exam read a lecture um let's see how many uh, keywords you are able to write i'll discuss your queries in the end you are gator loop at the university of florida our team was formed early in the summer of 2015 All 55 members have worked around the clock for the last six months to bring our vision to reality. Our team is composed of undergraduate and graduate students representing mechanical, aerospace, electrical, and materials engineering. Gator Loop is comprised of five subteams: structures, aerodynamics, mechanical systems, electrical systems, safety and reliability. Our bot consists of an aluminum monocoque structure encased in a drag optimized fiberglass fairing. The vibration isolation system uses rubber pneumatic wheels supported by a double wishbone suspension. Eddy current brakes in conjunction with disc brakes will stop the pod. The state of the pod will be monitored using various sensors and relayed back to a central server. Our approach to the competition is to produce a pod that will provide important feedback and data as we move forward into the next generation of mass transportation. We chose to keep the tube environment at the conditions outlined in the white paper, optimizing for speed and performance. Our pod can be thought of as a test bench model for analysis. We are Hyperloop at the University of Florida. We are Gatorloop. Now just tell me how many words you are able to write. Keywords. Sharing the transcript of the audio. Megna, I'll uh, give response. Just wait for some time. This is the transcript of the audio. Shivam is saying uh, eight keywords only. Four out of five sentences. See, and I have highlighted the main keywords, which are actually the nouns, proper nouns, uh, adjectives, and there are so many. That's why we are not able to get good score in listening when we get this kind of audios. Now, how to deal with this? And uh, I have seen that in repeated materials, uh, you get. the sample responses you don't have the audios generally and what we do we start mugging up the things we start mugging up the sample responses la 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 this is not the correct way if you are dealing with one some sample response remember again you need a copy pen then mark highlight the main keywords which are nouns adjectives and verbs proper nouns important verbs that you need and make a list always try to do uh, make your own strategies why it is important because when you will do something for yourself and the things become interesting and when you get some interesting thing 
definitely your mind will always capture those words so it becomes important a passage is there in front of you as a sample response of retell of summarized spoken text after that what to do mark highlight the words highlight the keywords what you feel that okay this is the noun so this is a keyword then don't mug up don't depend upon the rote learning what to do make a story in your own mind these are the important words if the speaker is saying aerodynamics and i'm not writing it in summary spoken text a e r o what is need to had a look over repeat sentences if i'm not aware about the spellings spellings are also important because i need the score for writing like the words gatlub by the university of florida in the very uh, first line speaker was not speaking at high pitch it was difficult for us to capture what he said that's why take out the keywords and remember try to uh, look over the spellings first what the spellings are of the important words important keywords then look over um what the speaker said get a loop by the university of florida mechanical aerospace electrical and material engineering aerodynamics vibration isolation system pneumatic wheels if you have somewhere read pneumatic wheels definitely i'll be able to jot down the word on the notepad prepare you yourself in that way next task is answer short questions we generally uh, don't bother about answer short questions but i would say when your target is 79 plus 90 you have to work on each and every single task i was describing let me finish it uh, with this one again uh, i was saying that i have highlighted some words here these are the important keywords so when whenever i have read in the past these kind of important difficult words definitely i'll be able to catch for example uh, in uh, in between you will see here it is written that pneumatic wheels eddy current brakes and uh, conjunction mass uh, transportation feedback and data speed performance tube environment get a loop by the university of florida mechanical aerospace electrical material engineering aerodynamics one more important word is there aluminium monocoque structure when i have already gone through these kind of words it becomes easy for me to jot down the words on the notepad in that way repeated material helps don't um mug up the whole sample responses because you already have templates you just need to put the keywords group of words in the template and you are done and answer short questions we feel that uh, okay we will mug up answer short questions in the end and sometimes we don't bother about answer short questions let's see we uh, we all are aware if we speak anything in exam we will get speaking 90 but still we have to look over the sentences which are important which are important questions actually because when you will not have you didn't have a look over the important questions answers actually that you haven't had a look in the past then it becomes difficult to answer because i need a prompt answer in exam 
no beep, just in the repeat sentences. I have to finish immediately. I have to speak immediately. But if I was not aware about the answer, I'll speak anything else. And in that case, remember, you will get the speaking score, but you will never get the speak score for your listening as well as for your vocabulary. You get score for vocabulary also from answer short questions. And vocabulary score goes into your writing part. Next is, um, I have um, jotted, these are the real material, the real answer short questions which come in exam. What does an altitude measure? Immediately, if I haven't read this passage, read this question, I will not be able to answer and I'll speak something else. Height is the answer. Next, an adjective to describe the creatures that no longer exist. For once, definitely, I'll remember what the speaker said. Answer is extinct. Next, answer and question, they both are entirely different from each other. And in one go, I will definitely, even me, will not be able what the speaker wants from me to speak. If you are happy with an agreement, what would you like to put at the, at the bottom of the contact with the date? Answer is signature. What do we call the thread in the center of a candle? Albin Dalama, what to speak? If I haven't heard this word, wick. Next, which one word you use to describe the desert? Humidity or aridity? And one go, definitely I'll speak humidity. But the answer is aridity. That's why it is important. Whenever you are practicing repeat, uh, repeated material, look over the repeated material in such a way that you don't cram them. You have understanding over the words. Now, how I can mug up the answers for 300, 400 answer short questions. Mark a circle on the question. If this word is there in the question, in the exam, what would be the answer? What does an altitude measure? Altitude measure height. Creatures no longer exist, extinct. You are happy with an agreement, then bottom, date, signature. What do we call the thread in candle? Thread? Candle, wick. Which one word you use to describe the desert? Aridity. Not the humidity. So, um, again, mark the keywords, highlight the keywords when you have the repeated material. Don't look over first, at the first go, um, look over the full question, but when you are again and again practicing, look over the highlighted words, which are important to answer, to speak the correct answer. Next module is writing. It becomes very uh, easy when you have already, uh, when you get one summarize written text or some essay and you have already read it. It will be easy for you to find the key words in summarize written text. If you have already gone through the passage. What will happen if you are able to easily find the key words? easy to make the sentences, even you will be able to uh, make this mixture of compound complex sentences. In, but on the other side, in essays, I have already read the prompt. Immediately, you will not waste your one or two minutes to make the ideas, to frame the ideas in your mind. What you will do, you will immediately start writing. It will save your so much time. That is the main purpose when you do uh, repeat, when you get repeated material in your exam. Overall, you will save some time in both the writing tasks. Another very important thing, 
for example in exam i got one essay regarding belching regarding xenophobia if you have read it somewhere what xenophobia is what is belching only then you will be able to write something one more uh, repeated essay is happiness index what is the meaning of happiness and in happiness index if you have read it somewhere anything about happiness index only then you will be able to make your sentences to find to uh, do the brainstorming when ideas are there definitely our hands my hand will move but when i get stuck means i'm gone minus your scores minus your time when you are not aware about the keywords when you are not aware about the prompt and 95% you get repeated summarized written text repeated essays it is not like a uh, ielts paper in ielts every time you get different uh, essay so again look over the keywords in the prompt which are given just look over the meaning in the google what is the meaning of xenophobia happiness index blah blah and then try to make your own sentences so that it will be a big help for you to write to make your own ideas to frame your ideas in exam and ultimately you need the score as you will in the end you will be able to say it at least one or two minutes if the things are already repeated once what to do with that saved time never move to the next task immediately when you are done with it say you are left with two minutes one minute what to do don't make in hurry if you are left with one or two minutes remember one thing utilize that saved time in proofreading because somewhere is written text i have to read the passage in 10 minutes then i have to write it in essay i have to read the prompt have to make my own ideas after that have to write it in 20 minutes in 20 minutes it's very less time when i have to write 200 plus words 220 230 words and when we will rush to writing definitely what will happen when you are using the keyboard you will type the words like if i want to write t a g because of the hurry i may write t a h t this happens with me and if that word i spelled i wrote wrong we feel that fine let it be but important thing is it will decrease your writing score we all see that in spellings we get sometimes a 17 20 21 but remember one thing if the spelling errors are there task total score is say 15 you commit two errors in spellings two errors only in one task you will get 13 out of 15 and when you will take the percentile of 13 out of 15 the score will be down when you take the percentile from 90 that's why everything is important never ever look over that i don't have to work on grammar i don't have to work on the spellings why why i want to um, i don't want to skip a single 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 score when we get stuck at 79 8 na it is really very uh, embarrassing disheartening fact you almost get um this happen when you see 78 oh no again i have to reappear and if you have made yourself a little bit conscious about each and everything score is there in your hand that's why when you save the time 
save that time to proofread your written part to check whether there are some spelling errors or there are some grammar errors or not if they are immediately remove it delete it and correct your answer next reading plans i have uh, mug, uh, collaborated both the uh, reading plans reading writing as well as reading fill in the blanks and this is the real exam question here if i'm aware about the passage it will take me i will only take few seconds to put my answers in the blank so it becomes easy for you to mark the correct answers first and save a lot of time for those questions which are not repeated ones and one more important thing am i going to uh, do the rote learning here always make the connections i'm giving one example here the word tectonics comes from the greek dash to build greek root is the answer always you have to one understanding second collocations third is the grammar with the help of these three things you are able to answer correct and always uh, try to make the correlation between the other words if root is my answer for the first blank try to make a connection this word with the other words so that you may be able to uh, recall that word immediately in exam in the next line putting these two words together we get term plate tectonics which dash now what i need which dash to how the earth's the earth's surface is built of plates i need here first form of verb all the passages written in uh, simple present tense and after that which dash putting these two words together means it will become a single word and with when subject is singular you write first form of verb plus s or e s and when the subject is singular and third person and here both the things are there so i will choose refers to which refers to how the earth surface is built of plates the theory of plate tectonics again theory subject is singular and uh, third person again i need what first person s or e s dash that just like defines that states that and states is the answer and if i look over define it is also there in the blanks in the options i'm not going to choose define because it is not having that s so in this way you can make the relations between words so that don't depend upon the rote learning because in the exam some other words can be the blank if you get the repeated passage on exam but p person is very smart they may change the blanks they may change the options and in that case it will be a big mess for you because you have already mugged it up so work on the understanding collocations as well as grammar next three order paragraph most of the people uh, we get scared from this particular question type so what to do again if you have thought that i'm going to memorize the order like 1 2 3 4 answer is 3 4 5 1 2 5, 1, then it will be an error from your side a big error in exam they may change the pattern they may change the order so always look over the understanding of the passages and try to make your own story in the passage in the lines when your own story is there you will when it comes an exam you will be able to 
fine okay this was the thing then i correlated this particular line with this one in that way you will be able to mark the correct pairs and always try to find the pairs again when you will you get repeated reorder paragraphs you get good time for your mcqs again one one question one one markers are also very important i remember in my exam i was left with 11 minutes in reading when i was on the last question because of the strategies were clear and i got at least two three repeated passages and i did those passages in just 10 seconds so see when 10 minutes are left in the real exam you will see wow i'm left with 10 minutes 11 minutes and then what will you do i have thought that at that time uh, i'm going to mark my rest last question last mcq i got three mcq single answer uh, and all three i spent a quality time to get the correct answer in that way you will get good uh, chances are there that you will mark correct mcq always save the time don't mug up the things i have just uh, made made this slide for the repetition will make us assure that we have selected answers correct score will increase definitely we'll save time for other questions which are not the repeated ones it will be i will be able to save good time for the other questions to spend more time on the other question to get my answers correct listening of fb's um, fill in the blanks if you have read somewhere the spellings of uh, weird words definitely chances are very less that you will write it wrong and that way you are listening as well as you are writing score secondly i'll be done with that task very uh, in very less time definitely i'll save that time for the other task and what the other task is in listening generally we are short of time and when the person is going to appear for the very first time for pd exam i always hear one thing from those persons i left one wft leaving one wft right from dictation is just like ah we are gone you will never ever get 70 plus in writing as well as 70 plus in listening when you skip one full fledged sentence of write from dictation because of the short of time even a single error will not give you 79 plus in write from dictation then how can i think leaving one full sentence will give me the score for uh, writing as well as in listening no save time there are so many in listening fill in the blanks you will get some uh, page uh, there most of the repeated words are written look over the spellings how they are written don't mug up keep it here in the brain that is needed next listening and we all are aware that in write from dictation most this is after repeat sentences reading writing and write from dictation these two tasks are at second and third number which are having highest which are having high weight and 90% write from dictation these are the repeated ones then why don't we go for the repeated material for write from dictation as i also need writing 79 plus as well as listening so from wherever you get the pdf of write from dictation either in uh, in audio form in writing form like again underline highlight the important words spelling is again important because if i will write the spelling wrong neither you get the score for listening nor for writing 
and one spelling error and write from dictation in any of the three to four write from dictation will not will never fetch you to cross 79 and writing so this was all about uh, repeated materials how we have to deal it we have so much repeated material but how to deal with is really very important now coming uh, up to your queries him singh is asking where is the repeated material uh, you can download our pt tutorials app him singh and uh, after 5 days 10 days uh, we are updating the repeated material in the in our pt tutorials app someone said uh, pt is not there in uh, canada canada universities also take pt Gurveen is asking, "What all out of the twenty tasks are repeated? Uh, essays you said are repeated. Yes, ninety percent essays are the repeated ones. Ninety-five percent write from dictation. Ninety ninety-five percent you get the repeated ones. Um, answer short questions. Fifty sixty percent out of if there you there are say twelve um, answer short questions out of those twelve." Four to five, definitely you get repeated ones, and in summarized written text, they are also you always get repeated ones. Repeat sentences, if your luck is too good, definitely you may get repeated uh, repeat sentences, also repeated ones. Lavanya is asking the agenda of today's session is about repeated questions. Uh, Uh, Lavanya, you are asking for me for repeat uh, repeated questions. As I said uh, to him, sir, this is for you all. PT tutorials update repeated material on our app, PT tutorials app, and you can download this app from uh, Play Store. 